Hello guys, my name is Zishan and welcome to Super Tradish YouTube channel. In this video, I'll cover Sandbox and Mana Decentraland coin. If that sounds interesting, then please subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to like this video. Alright, let's start this by looking at the Sandbox. But before I analyze the Sandbox, let's quickly analyze the Bitcoin here. This crypto market and the Bitcoin is bleeding right now. As you can see, we were watching this support resistance trend line here and this horizontal support resistance area as well. So this was a very, very nice probable area for a bounce and we got a bounce from this level here. If I go to the 4 hour chart of the Bitcoin, uh, we are about to break this neckline of this triangle pattern here as well and that would lead to much more selling pressure in the bitcoin here as well so the sentiment and the trend on the bitcoin is down for a bit and having that in mind let's analyze this sandbox here and if you guys are following my youtube channel for the time being and you guys know that i have been watching for this support level it was support here it was support here here and here as well and after breaking this support area it went up to this area and naturally it will become a resistance and as you can see the price is reacting right from our resistance box that we made few weeks ago here so that's another reason to subscribe to my channel if you guys want these type of probable levels of support and resistance to trade you can subscribe my channel here and right now it is joining the overall trend of the market and sandbox is making a lower lows and lower highs here on the daily chart if i go to the four hour chart and analyze here further and if we see a dump in the bitcoin then we could see i can see this head and shoulder pattern formation here this distorted head and shoulder this is the head this is the left shoulder and this is the right shoulder right at the probable area of resistance on the daily chart and as you can see we have broken the neckline of this head and shoulder right here and let me give you a quick price prediction for this head and shoulder pattern like this from the point of breakout till the target level we could see 11% fall in the sandbox to around 3.50 level and as you can see 3.50 level is a significant support and resistance area here on the one hour chart so guys be very very careful here the crypto market is looking bearish and if i go to the four hour time frame and i can see this 3.50 level is a significant support area here on the for our time frame as well so watch out for this level and if we manage to break out from this level then it will act as a resistance once we retest this level so guys be very very careful here the sandbox is not looking good for a buying right now now let's do a quick analysis on the mana coin decentral and mana coin on the daily chart as you can see the same sort of thing is happening here we were watching this resistance box if i extend it like this we were watching this resistance box at around three dollar level as you can see this was a support here support here as well support here and it broke down like all the cryptocurrencies broke down and it retested and now it is showing some signs of bearish action here although we broke out from this trend line and that was considered a bullish signal but we had we also had to see this uh, resistance area so that is why we don't look at the one technical analysis tool we need to combine multiple factors in the market to gauge the direction and the sentiment here so if you were to only rely on this falling trend line and you initiate a long position based on this falling trend line break then you would be in a big trouble right here because you would have neglected this resistance area here and here as well so 
it is always wise to see multiple factors aligning and then you will have a high probability in a technical analysis all right now let's go to the four hour time frame and i can see a trend line here as well like this and it is about to break this trend line here that's a not a, that's not a good sign and if it manages to break this trend line and this support level here at around 2.40 total level then the next target would be at around 2.3 total level and also i can see there is a support level here at this level at around two dollar level so guys be very very careful here i am not seeing any pattern of selling here but the four hour candles are looking very very bearish and we could see a follow through here at least at around 2.30 dollar level and if we see a further down break in the bitcoin we could also see this two dollar 2.10 dollar level here in the nana coin decentralized here I hope you guys like this quick video analysis on the sandbox and mana coin. If you liked it, I request you to please smash up the like button, subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the bell notification. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.